what is some advice that you want to leave people off so that they can have a better perspective of the war and the vets so that they can have more respect for it, let's say at least. Well, anyway, this is a, a quick picture of my book. I don't know. There we go. Vietnam Combat, Firefights, and Writing History. And because many of the Vietnam veterans were not welcomed home, um, and, and in today's world, it's just fine if you see a veteran wearing a a, a, a Vietnam hat and, and, you know, Vietnam veterans are starting to kind of walk in the boots of uh, World War II and Korean veterans now. They're getting pretty old. So the veterans that you see around, for the most part, are going to be, the older ones anyway, are going to be Vietnam veterans. And it, it's perfectly fine to say, thank you for your service. That's a wonderful thing to say. But many Vietnam veterans will treat that like, have a nice day it, without um. a great deal of meeting. So if you want to say something, to acknowledge a Vietnam veteran, say the words, th these are the code words, welcome home. If you say welcome home to a Vietnam veteran, you will bring tears to our eyes and lumps to our throats. They are very, very powerful words. Shows that you understand and that you empathize with, uh, with our struggle and our war. Uh, 